imagine walking into a store to purchase a gift for a friend. As you peruse the aisles searching for that perfect gift, you notice something odd. The store employee is following your every move. Although not explicitly said, the employee has suspicions that you may steal from the store. And how did they come to this conclusion? Simply from the color of your skin. For many Black Americans and people of color in the U.S., this is a common experience. It's a subtle form of racism called a microaggression. So what is a microaggression? It's defined as verbal, behavioral, and environmental indignities that communicate hostile, derogatory, or negative racial slights and insults to the target person or group. Other examples of microaggressions include telling a person of color that your English is so good, telling someone you're so smart or so pretty for a person of a certain race, and using phrases such as all lives matter, which dismiss the very real experiences of injustice and inequality that people of color face on a daily basis. Despite the word micro, microaggressions can have a significant and widespread impact. Microaggressions can cause feelings of alienation and lower self-worth, further permeating the systemic injustice and white supremacy built into our society. In an interview with Kevin Nadal, an author and professor of psychology at John Jay College, he said, the difference between microaggressions and overt discrimination or macroaggressions is that people who commit microaggressions might not even be aware of them. So how do we recognize and unlearn our own biases? You can start by further educating yourself about implicit bias and microaggressions. Deeply examine your own life and begin to recognize any biases that you may hold and think before you speak. Be aware of your biases and begin to retrain your brain and your patterns of thought. By doing so, we can begin to dismantle our own biases and together create a more inclusive community.